So today I'm going to talk about three topics. Number one, the huge $1 million tournament coming up. Number two, the phase pre-land. And three, am I really on prof? Prof apathy? So to start off with number one. Now a lot of you guys know COD Champs. The $1 million prize pool tournament is coming up in just two weeks. Uh, we just finished regionals about a week ago. No, don't play that about a week ago. No, no, no. But we just finished that and we play 7th, so we have the 7th seed going into COD Champs. I'm very excited for this event. Last year we placed 4th and I was not happy with that after we won regionals. I know we could have done better. Fortunately, you know, things happen, man. Things happen. But I'm very excited for this year. Um, I had a lot of confidence, you know, going into regionals. I still have a lot of confidence in my team. The only thing that kind of diminished that confidence is the fact that, one, Proofy's on a cruise. So we haven't been practicing. Two, Center is banned. So how do we work with this? How do we get that confidence back? Well, it's going to it's gonna take a lot of work and time. But I'm not going to let that be an excuse, you know, with the whole ban and Proofy on the Cruise and all that stuff and lack of practice. I'm going to be going to call champs the most practice we can get. I'm going to be going hard. I'm going to be practicing. I'm going to be playing, you know. I really want to win this event more than anything. I, I missed it last year. Unfortunately, you know, I didn't win. And it hit me, hit me right here, man. I remember going to every other event, and of course I wanted to win those events, but nothing mattered more to me than winning COD Champs, and it just didn't happen. I'm going to do everything in my power, everything I can to win this event. Uh, you know, I'm not losing to anybody. Alright, number two guys, phase pre-land. A lot of you guys know that this has been in talks, you know, me. All, the whole phase red, phase black, Tommy, Banks, Apex, Rain, Jev, you know, you know, it's all the people, man. We've been talking about this land for a while now. And we want this to happen. I know as a player that's barely going to be game practice as a team, really want this to happen as well. I, I like to, you know, think a week of practice online and maybe two two days of practice on land with a good, like, 8-10 hours. It's pretty much the same thing, you know, cancels each other out. So, I really want this to happen. This is probably the best practice we're going to get for champs, literally. Because with Sentry being man and all, with Proofy being on a cruise, this has just been the worst experience ever I've been before COD Champs, but I'm not going to let this affect me. I want to win COD Champs, and I'm going to make sure, you know, as a squad that we got to go to this land. We have to go to this land. We have to make this happen. Now, it's a very high chance it's going to happen. You know, we've been talking about it. Banks, all of us have been talking about it. And I, I, I think it's like about a 90% success rate, you know, it's going to happen. And the thing is, we don't know what dates yet. We don't know how long. Uh, it might be for a couple days. I know Parasite wanted like a week or something like that, but I know Aix doesn't want to do that. I think I know Slash has school, even though Spring Break I think is starting next week, so it shouldn't be a, a big deal. But, you know, I just really want this to happen. This is going to be great practice. You know, we get to go hard. We get to really practice our strats. You know, Phase Red's a great team. I think we're a great team as well. And together we'll help each other out. We'll help each other become better. And come in champs time, I think both of us will be playing extraordinary well. And we're just going to be demolishing people out there. Alright, now for the last thing. Prof Apathy. Is it happening? Is it real? I don't know. Find out next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Damn, I'm still here. Well, let's just continue. So guys, I know Prof Apathy has been a question. I saw tweets, messages, DMs, you know, people signed to my DMs going, Are you on Prof? Like, what's going on? And no, guys, I'm not on Prof. But the whole Machilla Classic, you know, thing, they, they getting banned. Uh, I am on Prof, but I'm only a sub for now. Me and Study subbed in for those two people so we can get some practices so we can help them out in the league. Now, the thing is, I'm assuming, is after, you know, the, the league is done, Elevate, well, Classic's te technically on Elevate. So he's going to be going to Elevate. Mochilla, I don't know what he's doing. But uh, study and, and, you know, me might be starters and that would be awesome. You know, we went from not being in the league at all to maybe being a sub on a team that will probably play like three, four matches throughout the whole season to playing already eight matches together. And then on top of that, we might play a lot more, maybe the whole season together. So that's freaking awesome. So you could call Prof technically like my second team, at least for now. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be starters yet. We might be maybe after champs because Classic and Mochella are going to champs, you know, with Ricky and Bose. So maybe once the first eight matches are done, there might be one or two before champs. Actually, I might, I think there might not even be, but there might be. I'm not sure yet about that, guys. But, you know, so they're going to be practicing maybe the last two matches. And I know after champs, like I said, Classic's going to be on Elevate. 
I think Elevate is Spacely. I don't even know who's on Elevate. Spacely and some other two. And after that, Mochella. I have no idea where he's going. Like, I don't know. And then, you know, so one of us or both of us might be starters. And we're just going to demolish the league, play the best we can, and get into the season playoffs. Baby! So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't had a one-on-one -on -one talk to you guys in a while. So I really wanted to update you guys with stuff. And I just really miss talking to you guys. You guys are my supporters. You guys show me love and I love you back. You know, other than I've been posting videos from the events, videos from stuff like that. And I actually have one more uh, footage. You know, I have some footage I want to post from the event. And that would be the it. That would be it from regionals. But I hope you guys really love this video. Sorry for the lighting. I feel like my one half of my side is just bright as fuck. <laughs> it's just so bright. And it's the lighting in this room, man. I got to fix this. But... It's like, I feel like the sun is just glaring at my one side. But I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, Apathy. And I have a lot of love for you all. And I'm out. He does, oh! but Apathy outsmarts him. Stands up and shuts him down. He goes from an ace to three kills and back-to-back -back rounds. And you know that is a momentum changer inside that soundproof booth. Crim, down goes Egg. There is a third. Karma last man standing, oh, and he is going to get down. picked by Dito. Strictly Business. The comeback from Strictly Business, and the crowd is erupting here in the Full Tilt venue. Holy mother of God, is this the event for upsets or what, Pucket? Can you believe not only did Strictly Business take the first map, but they just come back from...